guys, this is Jessica from Mom in a Stitch and today I thought I'd show you an easy way to knit. Especially if you have crocheted in the past, this might be an easy way for you to learn. So we're going to start with a length of yarn and the first step is casting on stitches onto our knitting needle. So with your yarn you want to make a long tail and we're going to create a slip knot. So just as if you're going to put a knot in your yarn, only you just pull this in through and tighten. And then we're going to put our knitting needle through the loop and tighten. But don't make it too tight because we're going to have to fit our other knitting needle through that um, loop at some point. So the next thing you want to do is pull the tail closer to your body and your yarn is on the other side. And I make my fingers in this kind of a shape. I go in and grab it, grab my yarn like this, spread your, your thumb and your pointer finger apart, and then turn your hand upside down and we're going to cast on stitches now. So you're going to grab your yarn here and then here and pull through. Drop your yarn and tighten. Keep them, keep the stitches a little bit loose. Do that again. Grab the yarn here. Then from here and pull through. Drop it and tighten. One more time. Go here, here, pull through, and tighten. Okay, so once you have several stitches, um, I'm only going to put four on for the sake of time, but if you were to be to knit a scarf, you might have as many as, oh, you know, you'd have a half your needle full and you would just knit away to make your scarf. With these four stitches, I'm going to show you how I like to knit and the muscle memory that you use is very similar to the way you'd crochet. So you grab your yarn just like this and have your stitches on this side. With your other knitting needle, you're going to slide it up like this and then just grab the yarn like this, pull it through and then slide it up and off your needle. Okay, do that again. Grab your yarn, slide it up and off your needle. This is called continental style. That, and the last stitch of the row. This, grab your yarn, slide it off. Sorry, I'm trying to do it slow and it's making it a little more difficult. Okay, so there we did a row of knitting and we're going to do the same thing again. Got my stitches along this side, got my yarn like this. I'm going to slide our needle up, pick that yarn up, slide it off. Pick it, slide it off. There go. And that's all there is to it. You would just repeat this and that is how you make a knit stitch um, with continental style knitting. So I hope that helps you get started. Have a great time. Mm -hmm.